Hey everybody, Jordan here. Today I'll be talking to you about the new Path of Titans update. We'll be hopping into the game and we'll be talking about the new attacks, the new secondary attacks mainly, and that's what we'll be focusing on in this video. As well as perhaps if we do get there, we'll be able to talk about the new fish that are in the game. And if I can't see them in game, I'll put them up on the screen when I get to talking about them. But yeah, today we'll be looking at all of the new attacks or secondary attacks that will be coming into Path of Titans. And if you do enjoy this video, feel free to like and subscribe as well as join my Discord server. But other than that, let's get right into this brand new Path of Titans video. So firstly, I'm going to talk about some of the new stuff that has been added in relation to fish and some stuff about Spinosaurus and Suko and some stuff about missions that are in the game. These will be small stuff that I will be talking about in this video, so they're all lumped into this section. So firstly, we get two new fish that will be coming to Path of Titans, the Bluegill and the Trout Fish. These are obviously two new fishes that you can find in the game and hunt and fish while playing as Spino or Suko and any other aquatic creature in the future. To add to this, Spino and Suko now get fishing quests in the game. I have a feeling this will be for mainly, I'm guessing, you know, fishing or, well, obviously it is fishing, but fishing for certain fish. So maybe a quest would be get or kill 20 trout, find 20 bluebacks or bluegills, and that will essentially be the quest in that regard, or essentially just easy ones like fish. That will be fairly easy, especially if you are playing as a Spino and Suko, and it gives some nice stuff in relation to quests for those animals. It makes it really good, and it makes it enjoyable to go in the water as well to get some quests done, so you're not lumbering around as a slow Spino, vulnerable to concavenators, biting at your ankles during the game session. To add to this, the Suko and the Spino can also eat underwater. So once you have caught a fish, you don't have to go up to the surface to eat. You can just chill underwater and eat. So yeah, nothing there is out of the ordinary. And I quite like that addition. It means you're not going to be vulnerable while playing the game. And another thing I do want to say, talking about quests, and finally, the one thing I want to add before we get into the secondary attacks in game, now quests have a timed feel to them, but this was recently disabled in the latest update to the public branch, and I don't know why, maybe there's a reason to it, but yeah, they will be coming to the game shortly, so that will be pretty cool and pretty exciting at that. Now you have to do your quests in a certain time, and it'll be pretty cool. Right, we are now in the game, and there is one thing that I need to talk about when I'm talking about this right now, and that is, well, firstly... The Serato and the Styracosaurus, they do not have their second abilities in the game at the moment because they've been removed. This is because there's been some problems, especially with the Serato, because the Serato had a movement issue when it was doing its second attack and, well, it couldn't do it while it was stationary or it couldn't, you know, attack at all sometimes and for the styraco there was issues with movement as well i don't know what these issues were but they were removed so they could be fixed and they'll be coming back onto the public test branch now or soon sorry and uh yeah let's get hop onto a single player world and we're just going to test some of the mechanics on the game right firstly we have the suko mimus which we're going to be testing with first and that is just the suko's secondary attack and yes hello everybody i am now in game on the camera and we're right next to a waystone. So as you can see now, there's two updated icons. One for the biting on the dinosaur. So the biting is the same, but the icon is different now. It used to be a slightly different biting icon. But now the, each dinosaur has a different biting icon. I'm pretty sure these are the icons that were for the abilities. So these are the abilities, so to say. Oh, I'm pretty sure these are. Anyways, please let me know. Matt, if you're watching this video, let me know in the comments below if these are the abilities because, well, they're the same icons. Anyways, the Suko Mimus's attack is essentially a claw attack. There you go. He's just slapping around like a sassy little Suko. Like, the, like anybody in a Hollywood film is basically the Suko slapping around. But yeah, let's, let's go ahead. And since we're talking about slapping... Let's go ahead and look at the Spinosaurus. The Spino Slap is more of a big hug, which, you know, he's just coming to hug you. I'll do it in a bit clearer of light. And maybe we can have a look at the new fish over here as well. 
mountains were basically right by the pond. So yeah, there is the big hug for the Spino. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the next dinosaur, which will be the Concavenator, which yet again has a little slap. Actually, uh, Latina Venetrix and Deinonychus do not have an attack, uh, a secondary attack, but they do have a new icon. So I can show you really quickly what their new icon is. Um, so you can get a quick glimpse of that new icon if you haven't already. Um, which is obviously just a little biting icon, which looks like a, a Rexy, you know? It looks like a Rexy's face. So uh, this will be universal for all carnivores that are not Suchomimus or Spinosaurus. Uh, mainly just because the uh, it's just a standard biting animation. Anyways, let's get into the next one, which is actually Concavenator. We're getting into Conker now. Right. So... Conker's um, animation or attacking animation is, well, obviously a claw attack. As you can see, it does a bit of damage um, as per usual. But it doesn't do that much damage. I wish I could show you how much it does, but it looks like I'm not actually hitting the, uh, the Deinonychus at all. Oh, I don't think I'm hitting the Deinonychus. If I am, it, well, shows you how little damage this is doing. There we go, he's dead. But... Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's like the Spinosaurus's, but with smaller arms. Like I said, the one for the Styracosaurus is like a heel, a back heel kick. And the Ceratosaurus's one is a tail swipe. Anyways, the Kentro, I think, is the last one. And this is mainly because, well, it, it's a very simple one. And yeah, well, they're very similar. They're pretty much the same attack. It's just in the opposite direction. So this one goes to the right. And this one goes to the left. You know, it's pretty bog standard. And of course, it probably does the same amount of damage anyways. As you can see, probably a free hit on a conquer. Yep, there you go. Which is completely fine. But they do have different icons to make them stand out from one another. And I'm pretty sure that is it from the double or the double abilities or the two different attacks in game. I don't think Camptosaurus has one just yet, but judging by the abilities that are on the screen now, all of them that were shown in the dev blog, we are probably going to be getting some more with the other dinosaurs. For example, Barsboldia might have a back kick or a going up on hind legs and stomping down. Eo Triceratops will obviously have a hind kick like the Styraco. Lambiosaurus will be probably similar to Barsboldia. Stegosaurus will be like the Kentros. And obviously when we go back to Carnivores, Metriacanthosaurus will probably be a arm attack or a swipe. Maybe even, maybe a tail attack, but I really doubt it. Daspletosaurus will probably be a tail attack or maybe a kick. And the Allosaurus will be an arm attack, I'm pretty sure as well, because it's got big and meaty arms which will definitely be useful. And then for the Alio, I'm not quite sure what that one will be. It might not even have one like the Deinonychus and Latina Venetrix will, uh, but I'm pretty sure these ones might be able to latch on to Prey in the future. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this small little update video about Path of Titans, talking to you about all the new abilities that are in the game and the new secondary attacks, as well as some new fish as well. Let me know what you think about these secondary attacks in the comments below. It would help a lot and I would really want to know what you actually think about these. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day.